Okay, let's go speak with the Taru and see oh, what's gonna happen next. The rogues are on limbs so they don't care about it. I love the fishing doll. Oh, Bahamut? Ahumi? Bahamut? Chotobati! Ahumi! Bugidae again! Jupita, bata, bata! Who's this guy? It's Bahamut as well. Like. It's Bahamut as well. Ahumi! Oh, what are you queuing for? I'll make quick and pretty. Real pretty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you had a very mistressy laugh just now, sir. I'm gonna be so pretty. What the fuck? Uh, let's speak with the Taru. <laughs> what do you mean? Mm -mm. <laughs> mm. I um, I'm sorry for about all the attention you're getting, Mio. I might have sung your phrases a little too loudly and often to a few too many people. <clears throat> Next time, I'll be sure to hold my tongue, literally, if necessary. I'll love me. Anyways, I expect you want to know where and when the Remembrance service are taking place. If all goes to plan, Gridania's Grand Company, the Order of the Twins Eder, will hold the first of the three services. The Elder Se Seer, Kan Istina, will deliver her address at Mieketo Ampintrit. I should probably mention at this point that due to the organiza organizational challenges involving in assembling all of the involved parties, it's impossible that the order of the services might change. Still, there is not much we can do about that, so make Gridania, your first port of call. Next, you'll need to go to Ulda, where the Flames General Raban Aldin will be addressing the masses at the Royal Promenade. Oh, and it's rumored that that's to be a special guest. How exciting! But not the least, you must make your way to the States room in Limsa Luminza where Maelstrom Chief Admiral Meryl <laughs> will be giving her address. The room is accessible via the Admiral's lift. Identify yourself to the sanctuary Zantel and he will admit you. Got that? Sure. Well, off you go then. I hope you find the Remembrance Service suitable educational. I suggest visiting the city-states in my prescribed order, though with your record of impeccable timing and luck, the schedule may well change in favor of your preferred travel plans. Farewell. Okay. Does it mean that we can start with the Never? Okay, awesome. Because we're super close to Limsa, so we can just go to Limsa now. Let's start in Limsa. The 
if you have to do the first. Oh, um, Vic, does it ever give me to finish with the bun boys? What do you mean? I've been finished with the bun boys for a while now. Just call her Merle. I I pronounced her fucking name. Fair. You know what? That's one hundred percent fair. pretty cool so we go by boat Ling Salamins of lower decks if a character has a weird name I make my own same though this is a shiny one where do we need to go again Over here, so the main like thingy. Like the Maguchi, exactly, exactly like the Maguchi. Let's be fair. What? You said that wasn't me. You were the one who said that. Here to attend the remember service. Be quick, the admiral is due to give her address at any moment. Let's go. The Garleans are another matter altogether. So much for our alliance. It's oh. sunk beyond the sea bed. You're speaking. Hello. Brothers and sisters of the sea, hearken unto me. Look upon this, our mighty crimson standard, and tell me your hearts do not swell with pride. No. Not really. <laughs> 700 summers have come and gone since our forefathers first ran aground in this fertile bay. In that time, guided by the mother of oceans, Limsa Lominsa has grown from humble fishing village to uncontested ruler of the five seas and beyond. Nice. Did you look as the Admiral bid you? It is a rather stirring standard, I must say. He sounds so arrogant! <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Crimson Field is meant to signify the blood of fallen crewmates, while the Black Longship represents a pirate vessel. Okay. When the Galian Empire marched upon Eorzea, we assembled beneath the Maelstrom Standard, and our grand company was reborn. All answered the call, from the Knights of the Barracuda to Hilthier's bloody executioners. And together, we met our would-be conquerors upon the field of Cartano. That day, the world bore witness to the united strength of Limsa Lominsa. I swear to you, no army ever fought harder or with more courage. Yet many of ours did not survive. 
Join me now in remembering those who fought in the name of freedom and fell. May their souls be returned to the sea. Freedom. Yes, they have always been rather fond of their freedom. It's not so arrogant! What the fuck? They look familiar? They were with us in the cart. They were the sleeping babies. They are the reason that guys spoke with us and not with them. Because they were sleeping. Sounds so judgy! I know! Much as the beast tribes have. A small wonder. Beneath the surface, one would struggle to tell them apart. Did he just compare them to the beast tribes? <gasps> what? <laughs> He's savage. Oh my god, why not? <laughs> sound a bit like Gimme. Ah yes, black mages. They have their cast parts and standing in fire. <laughs> Self-assured Yoth. Hmm. He's a... Uh... He's something for sure. So tiny too. It's because those guys are giants. Like look, we are giants. Like, if you look at my character compared to them, you will see. I remember actually disliking him in ARR because of this cocky descending voice. It has been five long years since the calamity struck. Five long years of tireless rebuilding. Yet still the wounds of the calamity fester and weep. But when I stand atop the mizzenmast and gaze out upon our battered and broken vessel, I see an undying spirit. Did we not build all this from the wreck of the Galadian all those centuries ago? Shall we not do so again? Nasco! Yet there are those who would see this ship of ours sink beneath the waves of the restless Rotano. The Sahagin creep ashore seeking blood for their accursed god. Those fishback the bastards. The Sahagin have risen? While the mines of Ogomoro spew forth kobolds who push ever south, despoiling our lands as they go. Your hair is very cute. <clears throat> Sorry, yes, go on. These savage beast tribes will be the first waves to crash against our creaking hull. And behind them swells the grim tide of the Garlean Empire. Even now, the Kurs fly their flags within our borders. Doubt not, but that they will be upon us ere long. We are well nigh surrounded. Yet there are those among us who would rather turn their swords against their crewmates than our cannons against our foes. How can we hope to repel our many enemies when mutiny breeds <laughs> below deck? It was the group I ended up joining. Ooh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna join them as well. Wait, I needed her? I know, right? It's so pretty! This hair is very pretty. Yeah, but I understand what she's saying. Like, they are surrounded by enemies, but they're fighting against each other instead of, like, their enemies. Yeah, it's a very pretty hair. There is but one course left to us. Unite as one! One bearing that will bring us victory over the beast hordes and the Empire both. And see this ship safe to port. Mm. 
We must mend the rift the Calamity has reopened twixt Pirate and Maelstrom, and stand fast with our adventurer brothers against the coming Tempest. Mark ye well, a crew without unity is no crew at all. Tis but a mass of drowned men. Mm. To me, then, brothers and sisters of the sea, gather beneath the undying crimson standard and pledge me your strength, your skill, your wisdom. And with the guidance of the navigator, this great vessel of ours shall ride the waves till sea swallows all. Let's go! Gather the lads! Oh, where's me cutlass? Inspiring. I'll follow ye to the seven hells, Admiral. If you'll permit me, Alfie, no. <gasps> what is this? <laughs> Dude, I'm just gonna say, <laughs> if someone were to speak with me like that randomly, I would be like, excuse me and get the fuck away. <laughs> What is this game? This game is Final Fantasy XIV. It was quite weird for me because I had just done some Ed Volker content on my main before doing this stuff on my bottom <laughs> I needed to respect my main, yeah. The, the, the voice acting in Realm Reborn is very different. They're even smaller than you. I think they're kids. <laughs> they better back up the fuck up before they get smoked the fuck up. <laughs> Betty is here to critique. <sighs> Guess I have to speak with this child. And my sister, Alize, at your service. Twins. I saw at a glance that you were a fellow traveler. Oh my god. Yes, yes I am. You might call us students of history, sampling the realm's remembrances in pursuit of enlightenment. He sounds so arrogant. His face is like baby face and very cute, but he sounds so arrogant. <laughs> yes, certainly. You might kiss my ass. <laughs> oh my god. They should redo the voice acting. Um, I don't know if they will. I had this smug little bit. <laughs> yeah, so far I don't really like them. You love him? Really? You don't trust him in the realm of reward? <laughs> That's my son right there, and my daughter! <laughs> That's nice to have twins. How do I know they're twins? They're dressed exactly the same. Even though he said sister and not twin. <clears throat> okay, let's see what I say. As the Admiral mentioned in her address, 
Limbs of Luminza is pl plagued by two beast tribes. The first are the fish like Shan. Shahangin? Shahagin? Worshippers of the primal Leviathan. The seconds are the kobold, who dwell beneath the earth and take the primal Titan for their god. As if the beast tribe's presence weren't troublesome enough, the guardians have also chosen to erect a fortest. Ooh, the lighting change. A fortest right in the in the Laminson's backyard. And that is to say, not of internal strife. A nation of pirates, there is no end to their blood feud between the various factions. And while they fight amongst themselves, the garlands with their blades and watch. So they're basically like, oh, let them fight within each other and then once they're weak, they will attack. If the Lominsons are to have any hope of withstanding the Empire, they must first resolve their own affairs. Differences must be set aside and the primal threat dealt with once and for all. To this end, I expect that they will soon take decision, the decisive actions against the priest tribes. Mark my words, the Maelstrom stand standard will be drenched a deeper shade of crimson ere long. That a capable adventurer like you would be a valuable addition to their crew is beyond question. Oh, they know of my deeds? Are they trying to recruit me? Sahagin, Sahagin. Words are hard in this game. Um. Okay. So we. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> uh. Okay. So we've done the Limsa thing. Let's go to Gridania. Sahagin. <laughs> Should I join them then? I mean, they, they worship Leviathan. It's like, it sounds like an ocean creature. Biting, biting. <laughs> because I just know him from those talks and he's very unlikable. <laughs> You're, ha you're gonna have a really, really nice surprise then, Nitty. <laughs> That's the opposite of what twins do. I mean, I feel like it depends on their mom. If they're really young enough, like, their mom will still dress them up as twins. Probably have to go to the Archivist Guild. Nope, to Miyakato. Okay. Denticles! <laughs> Ocean Monster, last goal! Okay. Let's, uh... Let's get the other one. I lost my son to the Calamity. Aww. The three Seed Seers are all together. Some say you couldn't take a step without stumbling over a body. They're probably speaking about the Calamity stuffies. Man, my character is cute! <gasps> Our forebears were once strangers in the Twelves Wood. The lightning does not fit you, baby. You look very dark like that. This lightning, yeah. She looks shady. She looks like mm, nah. <laughs> it makes her look very old. It makes her look like we should not join her cult. Cause she will take our souls. 
Eli, hello. I see saving the best for last. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Definitely not. Fearful of the green wrath, they hid themselves in the dark recesses of the earth. Yet they dreamed of basking in the dappled sunlight of the forest. Through great effort, they proved their worth to the elementals and were granted a place beneath the boughs. So it was that Gridania was born some five centuries ago. Working hand in hand, the Hure and the Elizan settlers sowed the seeds of our civilization. And soon, they were joined by folk of all races. Kikis! <laughs> they joined them. So nourished by the waters of unity, and blessed by the light of the matron, Gridania flourished into the great nation it is today. Ah, uh, this part is here as well? Is it gonna be in all of the, like, occasions? Blood for the blood, Lily! It looks like she needs sleep fix under her eyes. Did give it all. Oh, you were tricky this morning, Ellie. You have to listen to a speech by everyone. We have to understand the nations. Right? Do you see the Gridanian standard? There. Hanging behind the elder seats here. No, show me. The entwined serpents represent the unity between Hure and Elizan. An elegant symbol. Do you not agree? <laughs> it sounds like a snake. An elegant symbol. Don't you agree? No. <laughs> Are you saying that we're snakes? In accordance with the will of the elementals, we have embraced a life of peace. Alas, our neighbors have not always sought the same for themselves, nor for us. Though we Gridanians have no love for war, we have still less for those who would threaten our way of life. Ever have we fought to protect the sanctity of the Twelveswood. She cute. When the Garlean Empire brought its war of conquest to Eorzea, we rallied under the noble standard of the Twin Adder that we might push back the encroaching darkness. That's the guy that we're under, right? As an organist, like he's the guildmaster? Is it called guildmaster? He's like the... He's like the... Um... Conjurer's Guildmaster, yeah, there we go. Like, I recognize him, I do guild quests. Guild quests? Job quests? I do them. Mm. 100%. <laughs> he needs to comment considerately on the ship. I know, right? Will he speak as well? I want to hear his voice. And it was we who prepared the ground for the reformation of the Eorzean Alliance, that all the peoples of this realm might stand united against the common threat. Did they mean for, like, this thingy to happen at night? Because this does not complement her whatsoever. I'm a nerd, I got you for Thanks. What guy you are under, I have no knowledge. EJ It was daylight for you? Oh shit. Damn it. Five years ago, the Alliance met the armies of the Empire upon the fields of Cartano. It would prove the bloodiest battle in recent memory. Countless Gridanian lives were lost. They all fought in Cantonu, but they're not working with each other. Isn't that a little bit of a waste? 
As Supreme Commander of the Order of the Twin Adder, ever shall I bear the weight of our people's sacrifice. Alas, their loss was not the only tragedy to befall us that day, for soon came the Calamity. The scars borne by our forest are a constant reminder of its violence. Our lives have been irrevocably changed, each waking hour a struggle to survive. Driven to desperation, some among us have strayed from the path of righteousness, resorting to banditry, poaching, and other unconscionable deeds. To compound our woes, the Ixul have returned in force, emboldened by our suffering. They test our defenses nigh without cease and prey upon the vulnerable. We saw the Ixuls. They were like the long, thick monsters that were attacking the tree. So beleaguered from within and without, it is of little wonder that our unity now falters. Dark times are upon us. Time was a man could a walk the high roads itself. without fear. On this day, five years ago, countless Eorzeans laid down their lives that we might behold another dawn. Please join with me in honoring their memory. And how do you propose to honor the memory of those you cannot remember, pray tell? <laughs> oh, we have another arrogant baby! <clears throat> Which one will they join? The this is what I want to know. The wrought by the Calamity was indiscriminate. It dealt death to Eorzean and Garlean alike. Not that the go! Yet while we have labored to rebuild our homes, to rebuild our lives, the Empire has set about raising steel fortresses here in the Twelveswood. The Empire? Let none be mistaken. The Garleans remain the greatest threat to our survival. If we are to stand against them, we must remember what it is to be united. So the Garleans not only like affect Limza but also Gridania? So they have common foe. Our many troubles blind us to the woes of our fellow man. Thence is harmony lost. Yet harmony is the founding principle of Gridania. We are gathered here to honor the fallen. Let them be honored not only in word and thought, but through concerted action. I bid you join hands with me once more beneath the Twin Adder standard. And together, let us heal the forest's wounds, that our progeny might live in harmony beneath these ancient boughs. For serenity, purity, and sanctity. We must think of the children! Woods will be done! It's up to us to protect the forest! All the elementals! Now I want to join them instead. Damn it! This is my home. This is my Gridania. Are they not speaking? Ah. Oh, here we go. We're gonna speak with them again. Fancy meeting you again. I would not say the same. 
He sounds so. It's mm, if if we wear like in a, like dorms, kind of like in Harry Potter. He will be like the snake ones, like the green, uh, the green ones. This I don't know the names. I'll be like Hufflepuff because it sounds cute, and they will be like slithering, slide, side something. The snakes, slithering, yeah, something like that. They will be that. <laughs> you are a total Hufflepuff. I'm such a Hufflepuff. I sound like a Hufflepuff. <laughs> Why? Because it sounds cute. That's it. Alize Ravenclaw? I don't know what Ravenclaw is. You unlock more fun boy privileges as the maelstrom was just saying. I'm gonna go for the maelstrom, for sure. You like Gridani too much? Me too. I love Gridani. It feels like home. Gridani feels like home. It's kind of like how on... Um... On Genshin, I feel like, um... Uh, there are a lot of, like, cities at the moment. Well, not a lot. But, like, there are some cities at the moment. There are some. There are like three, four cities at the moment. Kind of like three. More three. It's like four regions, but like three cities. And I feel like the first city is like my home. There are cities! Alright, got it! Okay, let's see what he wants. Alphinome. Oh, he's not gracing us with his voice! How lovely! <laughs> Great. The Gridanians are unfortunate enough to have to counter with two beast tribes. Isn't it the same with the Limsa then? The Ixels are unquestionably the more troublesome, being a naturally warlike disposition, and want to summon their bloodthirst primal Garuda. The Silks by the contrast, are peaceful in nature, being mischievous rather than malevolent, malevolent, and have long been on a friendly term with the Gridanians, until recently at least. Alas, they have grown aloof, a change observed at roughly the time they summoned the primal Ramu. Okay. I wonder, does all that also have like two primal stuffies? Even though all is like the in between of Limsa and Gridani, anyway. I wonder. The Gridanians have no love for war, and they consider open conflict a last resort. Same. Though they clash with the Ixels ever more regularly. You may be one, you may be assured that they do do so in a self defense as for the seal they are as yet bound by a peace treaty though one wonders how long it will be before it is broken the twelfth sword was grievously wounded during the calamity leaving Britannia vulnerable atta to attack the people are hopeful to that restoring that wood wait that restoring the wood and thereby the power of the elementals will put an end to their woes and how long will that take centuries at wager yeah ill fated meanwhile the ixels will continue their in incorporations sprung by garuda the hair <clears throat> Instabilitable appetite for destruction. <clears throat> Whether the Gritanians like it or not, sooner or later it will come to all out war. When it does, the Order of the Twin Adder will need all the help it can mus muster. 
Are you gonna join them then? How vulnerable might the aid of a capable adventurer prove to them then? I mean, I will hope for, like, I will help them regardless if I would be with them or not. Perhaps, well, perhaps we will find out if the Edel Seedseer words fell on fertile ground. She's not saying much, is she? She's just a talk, 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 talk guy. And she's like, a, I'm a watch and judge. Quietly. I like her. <laughs> Wait, this lovely low wheels. <laughs> low wheels is lovely. I think we'll die is the only primal effort, and we killed him. We helped. Therefore, the, the the storm guys doesn't really need us. Well, that has a super hot casting top. What? Gridania has the most primals. Gridania only have only two though. Same with Limsa. Limsa has the ones with the Leviathan and the one with um. Cobalt, something like that. And Gridania has the uh, Ixels and the Silps. The forest has more crap to deal with. What do you mean? Gridania has three cities. <laughs> Titan and Leviathan, yes. Does it though? I don't know. Does it? I'm telling you. Okay, let's go to Ulda. Ulda is next one. Is the last one. Send you a link to what? Oh, what's that? <laughs> what's that? <laughs> is that a jump quest? Nah. Uh, let's go here. You're missing one primal. Imagine doing jump quest! Not me. Okay, let's go to Ulda. Not even Maven to mom! I need it. People want me now. Oh, do you think she will be disappointed in us because we're not joining the Twin Nethers? Mom! This graceful madness. Ooh, pretty. If all that was a little bit more open and I could see the sky, I wouldn't mind it as much. I just feel suffocated. <laughs> Hello. This guy is big, scary, and fast. I like this guy, though. Mom is mad and he didn't want to come back home. What do you mean? Look up more. There is nothing up. There is literally nothing to look at. There is no sky. Destination. Want to vote down? Right. Okay, last one. Behold, tis the Santana Nanimal herself. And Robon as well. Small and big. <laughs> Careful not to step on her. Hark, you souls of flame, drawn to the bosom of the desert, where the fire burns brightest and shall rage forevermore. Let's go! <laughs> Hurrah! Braban! Nice where since antiquity, 
Under the sage and judicious rule of the Ul Dynasty, we have brought sand into gold. Aha. Uh -huh. Where by the grace and glory of Naldar have our brave sons and daughters flourished and prospered. I speak of Uldar. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep, they, here they are again. There, at the Flame General's back flies the Grand Company's standard. Note the sigil. The golden scales of order balance the jewel of prosperity with the flame of might. We are mighty and we love the gold. Great and many are the gifts our nation has given the realm. In Eorzea's darkest hour, on the killing fields of Cartano, none spent more in blood and gold than we. Thus was the Seventh Imperial Legion laid low. Yeah. So that's how it happened. How soon the history forgets. Is he lying? Do you want to share something with us? Oh, his is green and hers is uh, red. Yet many left our gates never to return. Let us pray for our absent brothers and sisters that they might know happiness in the great beyond as Thor's honored guests. If the fates were fair, the price we paid that day would have bought us victory. Alas, they are not. And now, but five years into this seventh umbral era, the spirit of sacrifice which granted us our strength is all but dead. D E D. Look around you. What do you see? A people divided, downtrodden, and enthralled. So, in all the cities, they have the like they're not divided. They're not united. They're divided, and they're basically like calling. Let's like let's unite together to create a better future. Yada yada yada. Where are the merciful alms of the rich? Where is the just steel of the righteous? I ask you, is this the great nation our brothers and sisters gave their lives to save? No. You who call this <laughs> living. Dishonor the name of the immortal flames. It is but a slow death. Mm. Our enemies surround us. The savage hordes of the Amalja wait beside our roads, strangling the lifelines of trade. Mm. Meanwhile, the Garleans make mock of our borders and despoil our land of its natural wealth. The freaking Garleans again? They're like our common enemy. We stand on a precipice. Baby. Yet we do not act. Whether trader or soldier, monetarist or royalist, all must recognize that a divided Uldar stands to fall. Hmm. Victory and fortune walk hand in hand. Mm. Ye who seek glory and wealth, look not to what little you can snatch from your neighbor, but to the boundless wealth of the world beyond. Mm. Now is the time to unite. Now is the time to ride forth. In the name of the Sultana, I beseech you. Line not your own coffers, but those of the immortal flames. Seek not to prosper from Uldar, but to restore her to prosperity. As the realm prospers, so shall Uldar. As Uldar prospers, so shall her people. Yar for Uldar! Together we are one. <laughs> Baby! <laughs> your grace. Wait, your grace? She's a queen. Raban. Tiny. <laughs> People of Ulta, I, Nanami.
Dynamo, 17th in the line of all, address you. We <laughs> have a lost kid over here. Come and find her. <laughs> I might not like all that in the desert, but Rubani, yeah, Rubani's a. He has a great speech. Actually, the worst speech! <laughs> To be honest, though, if I were to listen to all of the speeches, I would go with Gridania for sure. Because, like, they walk by, like, let's defend ourselves rather than, like, let's, like, I don't know, fight and glory and victory and money and yada yada yada. Why do you think Queen makes Ron wear some skirt? I don't know, maybe it's a little bit more breezy like that. Better future, yada yada. Just show us the butterfly already. <laughs> Can you just shouting no in the background? <laughs> She's my queen. Oh, Aki. Your queen is very small. She did state. I did not remember that. People want this to be a thing, laugh I'll sit on player's shoulder like a true minion. <laughs> if we ever meet Gimme, we can try that? No! I see, how are you supposed to take this shit seriously? <laughs> Gridania sucks. I mean... You have your opinions, and I have mine. Good things can come in small packages. Okay, let's see what she has to say, tiny baby. Much has been made of the wealth of all dark. Yet those who measure that wealth in coins and carrots are gravely deceived. I see what that means. If I would have seen like someone speaking up like that, like speaking like sitting on this freaking forum, <laughs> the cheat. For the true wealth of all dark lies in the health, happiness, and hopes of her people. <laughs> Beloved subjects. I bid you raise aloft the torch of Ulda, that her flames might serve as a beacon for all Eorzea to see. Her feet are so small! <laughs> Long live Nanamo! Glory to the Shaltana! For victory and fortune, stride fearless into the inferno, for we are... Fire reborn! Let's go! Yeah, I'm not impressed. <laughs> Forsooth! The time is now! I believe I believe. Fancy meeting you again. Uh, he's so... It's like, I feel like I have to shower after speaking with him. Fancy seeing you here again. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, it's keep you in Dick's arm. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> the old dance have long history of conflicts with the Amalja, the beast tribe that worships the primal effort. Judging by your look of distastes. I take it you have encountered them. Yep. I might have helped. The Uldans do not shy from confrontation. It out threatens their precious properties. They will seek to crush it. Barbarians! So have they dealt with the Ifrit thus far? Smothering his flames each time he is stroked to life. I helped. Yet he's 
but one of several problems. Though they have been quiet those past five years, the Garleans have not gone away. Meanwhile, refugees continue to arrive in droves, and Ulda has no clear policy on how to deal with them. After all, not even the Sultana's coffers are bottomless. And even assuming they had a coin, resources will be but finite. Which brings me back to the subject of Ifrit. It has been observed that the Amaja, Amalja are summoning him with ever increasing frequency. Oh, they can summon him more than once? Every time they do so, the Uldan send their forces to smite the primal. Oof. And they out they Dude, just imagine for a second that like you're one of the Amalgas and like your god is being played constantly. You're like Come back to us and he's back and then he gets killed and you're like motherfuckers. I guess it makes again, this is sad to say, but like it makes sense why they kill the people that got like like feeding on their ether or whatever it is that they're doing. I guess we all will have to carry you every time we kill you, right? That's how primal works. The beast tribes keeps on summoning them over and over, not just if it gets summoned again. Gotcha. Every time they do so, the Uldan sends their forces to smite the primal. And though they invariably success succeed each victory is brought with blood this is a war of attrition which they cannot well sustain small wonder then what the immortal flames are eager to recruit more members <laughs> so they can get brainwashed and die at such a desperate hour an adventurer of your experience would be most welcome in addition to their ranks. It's almost like he's recruiting us. But for all of them. It's kind of like they need you. They need you. They also need you. Now choose. <laughs> Mio, this is Minfilia. Are you well? I hope. You're well, I hope. Would I be correct in thinking that the final remembrance service has now concluded? A moment ago, you say? What a coincidence! <laughs> what a coincidence! Just in a side, I trust you remember our guests from the Garan companies? Well, delightly <laughs> delighted though we are to have them here at the Waking Sun! <laughs> it would not do to keep them in suspense any longer than necessary. Ensure to hurry back! Come back! <laughs> Do something about them! <laughs>